What's up guys, welcome back. I'm going to inbox my first ever food dehydrator from the brand Kosori. We'll open it together. I'll show you what's inside. We'll try to put it together with the trays and everything. I've never owned one before or used one before and I have a vague idea about how it works. So if everything goes well, today I'm going to try to make some dried bananas. But just before we start, funny quick story. During Christmas holiday, Alex told me one day, hey, there is this package that I'm expecting in the mail. It's a gift, don't touch it. And then I was like, yeah, I'm expecting a package today too. So I go outside, I see two big boxes, both of them branded Kosori. It turned out we bought each other the exact same gift. And so we ended up with two food dehydrators. So we will be giving away the second one. It's the same brand, but not the same model. And so if any of you are interested in having a food dehydrator, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. And we will talk in details about how you can enter the giveaway. But for right now, We'll open this, we'll assemble it, and then we'll try to make some dried fruits. And the reason I wanted to purchase one this year is because most of the time for our uh, trail snacks, we buy them from outside. They are already pre-made. Some of them are good, but some of them are not so great. And so this year I really wanted to spend some time to come up with my own recipes, dry some fruits, beef jerky, and just have fun with it. All right, so let's see what we have here. Okay, they've got some information about their social media, Kosori Cooks on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. All right, I am so very excited. Really, I'm excited for this. Okay, so first thing, there's this uh, little package here. I'm assuming this one has probably some recipes. Prepare your kitchen and your appetite. Okay, so that's a user manual. I definitely have to do some reading. I've never used a dehydrator before. And then, nice. So these are some recipes. This is a recipe book. It's got some beef jerky. Spicy bacon, beef teriyaki jerky. This is their present on social media. Looks like this is a plastic tray. Just going to leave it in the side here. All right, I have a better idea. Is it upside down? No. Okay. So that's the set of trays. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so a set of six uh, metal trays. And then this one, I'm not sure how I can use the, the plastic one, but I'm just gonna leave them here. perfect size. I think it's pretty straightforward as far as start, stop, and then the timing, how long you want it to go for, the temperature, minus, plus, whatever. All I have to do right now, I believe, is to place the trays inside. You know, usually I'm not great at following instructions. I like to just do it my own way, but I don't want to mess this thing up. Okay, so where do you go? This is the mesh screen. Okay, so that's the mesh screen. And the E is the fruit roll sheet. Okay, so where does the mesh screen go? The mesh screen, this is this mesh screen right here. It says use for foods that shrink when dried. This liner will prevent them from falling through tray gates. Okay, so you know what? For right now, I'm not gonna use any of you. You both stay there because I'm just gonna be making bananas. I have a bunch of uh, 
organic bananas right here that's going to be my first yeah so this is good i mean i think it's a great size right here and then i will have to to obviously plug it i think i picked a strategic spot in here because i have an outlet right there okay so i think the deal is when it comes to drying fruits or beef jerky each one of them has a specific temperature and also it's got a specific uh, timeline or duration that you should be cooking it for so let's see if i can find bananas in here the, the first two pages of the recipe book they talk about specific temperature depending on what you want to make so for herbs and flowers it says 95 degrees fahrenheit citrus peel 135 fruit and fish 145 degrees fahrenheit so that's what i'm going to do right here and it's got a lot of great tips about dehydrating food for the first time like adding lemon juice to the fruit like apples and bananas so that it can help you prevent them from turning brown and there are a lot of information here about maintenance and cleaning so i did a quick google search and it seems like to dehydrate bananas it would take from six to eight hours so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna turn it on uh, at 145 degrees fahrenheit i'm gonna set a timer for six hours i will check if they are dry enough we're good if not i'm going to give it some time to do its work uh, but hopefully we don't mess this thing up We filled five trays and I think this is good enough. So I'm gonna close this and the temperature, I'm gonna have to set it to 145 degrees. Time, okay, it's by default says eight hours. I think that should be good, eight hours. Okay, ready? It's making a bit of a noise here. I will leave the dehydrator, do its work for about eight hours and we'll check back again. Let's talk about the giveaway. If you guys are interested in entering the giveaway, we are giving away a dehydrator from Kosori, different model. This is what it looks like. If you guys are interested, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and make sure that you are leaving a comment on this video to let us know that you are interested in entering the giveaway and leave your email address. We will be running this giveaway for two weeks and we will reach out via email. We'll also announce it on social media, Instagram and Facebook. This is what the dried bananas looked like after eight hours in the dehydrator. I took them out, the smell was really strong and heavily, and I stored all of them in a jar. They were good for a first time experience. There are definitely a couple of things that I could have done better. I will talk about it a little bit more in the comments. But if you guys found this video to be either informative or useful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you very soon on a new adventure. My name is Habiba and this is Trekking Pals.